from a very wet and windy Cotswolds. Um, I was going to have this as part of the other video where I'm talking about the South Cotswolds, but since we're in the North Cotswolds, I thought I would separate them. This is going to be a vlog about everything to see in the North Cotswolds. We're starting our trip in a place called um, Morton in Marsh, heading up to Stow and the Wolds and Snows Hill and lots of other very, very adorable, beautiful Cotswolds villages. I'm very excited to show you around. Um, and so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be brilliant. And yeah, let's just get on with the trip. in Marsh is because it was the inspiration behind J.R.R. Tolkien's um, pub in many of his Lord of the Rings books. So the pub was called the Prancing Pony I think in The Hobbit and the very pub that inspired him is here somewhere on the high street in Morton in Marsh so that's where we're heading now. So we found it! There it is, that's the Bell Inn. Um, so it was visited by J.R.R. Tolkien and it features in Lord of the Rings. So it was the inspiration behind the Prancing Pony, like I mentioned. Pretty cool. So that is Morton in Marsh. Very worth seeing. Beautiful shops, just a beautiful place. Next is Stow on the Wall. <laughs> my, umbrella, my, my umbrella broke nearly. So we're now in Stow on the Wold, which is a historic market town, a really popular one with a whole load of cute coffee shops and tea rooms. What we're here for though is to see a church which supposedly is Tolkien-esque and inspired Tolkien in his writing of Lord of the Rings. So this is Stow in the Wold and this is St Edward's Church which is one of the must-sees when you come here. It dates back to 1086 and it's famous for its door, which is framed by two ancient trees. So yeah, you'll see a, a line of people sometimes waiting for a photograph, but today we were lucky and there's nobody here. Another reason to come and visit Stowe on the Wold is because it's home to the oldest inn in England. So that's where we're gonna head next. So this is England's oldest inn, and it dates back to 947. Popped into one of the most popular coffee shops in Stow on the Wold and picked up this absolutely delicious looking cinnamon bun. I'm very excited to try it. So <laughs> We are now getting soaked in Snows Hill. Snows Hill is another beautiful Cotswolds village and it's famous because it's the filming location for Bridget Jones's diary. Another place that you can visit is Snows Hill Manor, which is about 500 yards from the center of Snows Hill and also the slaughters. Upper and Lower Slaughter, which although they don't sound like the nicest place in the world, they're absolutely beautiful. There we go. Upper Slaughter.
A short drive from the Slaughters, you'll find a beautiful village called Burton on the Water, which is known as the Venice of the Cotswolds. It sits on the River Windrush and is ideal for either a day out or a stopover. We popped in to give its very famous bakery a try. It's family run and serves everything from traditional artisan breads to gooey chocolate brownies and other sweet treats and piping hot teas and coffees. We went for the usual, a mocha and a latte to go, and then we enjoyed our drinks and the brownie by the beautiful riverside. So now we're heading to a place called Stanton. So here's another village that's just a little bit off the beaten path. People tend to go to Broadway or Chipping Camden or Burton on the Water and they're all very beautiful villages but this place is called Stanton and it's not that touristy and it's absolutely beautiful. There's a main street with a whole line of cottages that date back to the 16th and 17th century and it just feels very untouched so that's why we're visiting. Honestly of all the villages we've visited I think this one looks most like a film set. It honestly looks like it hasn't changed since the 16th century. The last place on our list is a little town, well, is it a village or a town? I think it's a town called Broadway and it's the archetypal Cotswolds town. Very, very beautiful. With the sandstone and the little independent shops, I can 100% recommend a little trip here. When in Broadway, you'll find a very popular tea room called Tassan's, and that's where we decided to have lunch. I thought I would finish this little tour of Broadway by saying that Tassan's tea shop is very much recommended. We ordered we ordered the um, cream tea and then we ordered um, we ordered the homemade quiche and toasted sandwich as well. 100% if you're going there I would recommend ordering some of the cakes. The cakes are all homemade and they looked absolutely delicious. And then it was back in the car, soaking up the golden villages and thatched cottages from the passenger seat as we headed to our hotel for the night. Dinner at the George Townhouse was honestly incredible. Buttery, fluffy, garlicky bread, a hearty bowl of shrimp and chorizo pasta, and then a Sunday roast for me, with all the trimmings. Um, just updating you, we stayed at a place called the George Townhouse and I couldn't recommend it enough. It's absolutely amazing. Good morning. The next picture perfect village for you to explore on your little trip to the Cotswolds is this place. It's called Honington and it's not touristy at all, um, but it's full of chocolate box houses Look at this one behind me. It's like something from a from a film. So it's full. The village is full of um, cottages that date back to the 16th and 17th century. 
um, you can just imagine what it was like back then. So very much recommend popping into Honington on your trip to the Cotswolds. We're in the village of Honington and we headed down to the church and we're looking for a place called Rose Cottage which is supposedly one of the most beautiful cottages in the Cotswolds and the most photographed and the gentleman at the church well we asked him for directions and he told us it was his cottage <laughs> what are the chances so we are just driving back to Manchester now and I thought I'd hop on here and end the video I really hope that you've enjoyed it I hope that you've enjoyed following us around the Cotswolds it's somewhere that I would recommend for anybody to visit at any time of year all right then well if you like the video please give it a like if you'd like to subscribe that would be amazing and I will see you in my next one bye so this is Rose Cottage Get. That was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? Mm. Right, let's say it again. Right. I've managed to cut out your gift shop pants. Next is still on the wall. <laughs> my, my, my umbrella broke nearly. Now there goes a sight from my soul. So, so, so.